better knock on wood. Song. Uh, this next song, song, love song. It's about going out dancing and falling in love. I usually play with the. Uh, they got a band backing me up on this one, but I'm gonna do it on my own. It's called Last Night. I'd be 
running scared, no one there beside of me. Always thought I'd be a lonely man. Till you said you have a dance with me last night. Well, last night. Well, last night. Last night was a time. Well, last night you were mine. Oh, you're gonna be my girl. Are you gonna be my girl? You're watching Audio Tree Live with Jeremy Albino. What's up? Hey, how's it going? It's going well. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me out. Of course. Oh, right before we went live, I was like, it's not albino. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then I got really in my head about it. And I was like, albino? Oh. Hey, it's all right. I, some, I, sometimes I, I think I should make a t-shirt or a mug that just says albino, spelt albino. Yeah. You know? That would be good for a coffee mug. Yeah. yeah? It's a pun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a free idea. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, uh... I'm very happy you're here. You played an event in this building a few months ago, and I saw you, and I was like, holy oh, yeah. shit. You're Sweet, incredible. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was, that was fun. Yeah. Um, so I'm really interested in how you, like, came up in the music industry. You started, you were farming for a long time, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I, I've always kind of been making music kind of at home and just kind of strumming the guitar. But, yeah, I was, uh, I was like, farming. I've been farming for probably the almost past 10 years or so. And, uh... I don't know, I, I, I just kind of, I started playing this open mic in this little town that I live in, and, and people started really digging it, so I just kind of thought I should give it a go. Yeah. And, and uh, so I was kind of living out in the country, and, and one winter, since farming's so seasonal, I just kind of went down to the city and um, just started playing every open mic I could, and, and met a bunch of musicians, and met my manager, and yeah. I don't know, kind of. That's kind of how it started. I just kind of left the farm and <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mean, it started at the farm, but all these songs were all written out there. Yeah, that's a super organic like um, story. I guess yeah. so. Yeah, you yeah. just it just comes out of the want to play and the yeah. want to write. Totally. Yeah. 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 So I was kind of I I always kind of had it to myself, but after I, people really liked it, so I just thought I'd start sharing it with people. So yeah. yeah. And actually, the next song you're gonna play was the first song you ever wrote, right? Yeah, this, uh, this, this. I wrote this one. I probably wrote it. I kind of wrote it before I kind of moved out to the country. I, I wrote it when I was like 17, uh -huh. and I, I just I was kind of jamming with some people in the city, and uh, this one guy in particular. We'd like do like these like kitchen sessions where I, I like I used to play the fiddle and the banjo, and so we just kind of jam out and. Some like everyone would always kind of bring a song that they wrote, and mm -hmm. I I would always just be singing covers, or or I would always just like wouldn't have my own song to share. And uh, and one time I got home from one of those sessions, I was like, I gotta write one for for the next one. And mm -hmm. I just this one kind of came out of me, and and uh, every, I've been singing ever since. That's <laughs> awesome. Is yeah. it is it um? It's, it's, it's had a few like changes. Like it used to be a different chord structure when uh -huh. I first wrote it and and then actually the one of the first time I recorded it uh like I was re recording demos I just decided to switch up the chord arrangement and it kind of and it stuck yeah way. <laughs> yeah yeah that's awesome it's so rare that like your first song like sticks yeah I think it's awesome that you're like playing it yeah. every night it's funny though yeah. also the song this song so I, I just put out a record and and uh I I like Two years before I made the record, I made like these live videos. I made a live video of Shipwreck, and mm -hmm. I recorded it out at my friend's uh, old like general stores or like a cabin out in the woods. And 
um, it ended up being like I recorded it late at night and it ended up being like a good take and when we came to when it came to recording the record I ended up just I tried to record it in the studio when we were down in Nashville and it didn't quite work out and we ended up just keeping the audio from the video because we it was just something magical about that take yeah. so there's always something special with that song it's always the first of of a lot of things that's awesome <laughs> yeah well I'm excited to hear it yeah. let's roll into your next two yeah thanks for being here yeah thanks again all right this one's uh this one's called shipwreck This next one, a song I wrote last summer. About a big storm. Let us 
stone rolling On that low morning rumble Keeps me from my bed I can't lay back down Close my eyes again That wind keeps on howling I can't get no rest sometimes Yeah, let the stone roll Live with Jeremy Albino, so great. Nice. Um, so you were on a bunch of tours this year with like Cat Clyde and Saint Paul and the Broken Bones. Yeah. Um, so was the Saint Paul and the Broken Bones was that just like a huge? Were you playing a, like huge rooms? Yeah, that was kind of like my first bigger tour. Yeah. I, 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 it was it was amazing. It was the first time. I, I, so I also played with a band, and mm-hmm. that's the first time I brought the band out on tour, and and it was it was an amazing opp- Like those guys were great for having us out, and. And it was really, my, I mean, it was my first time kind of touring yeah. the States, too. Like, I, uh, I'm i up from Canada, and, I mean, I've done a few runs, but it's my first time in Texas and That's California so cool. and all that, so I was seeing the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you have, like, a preference to mm. playing with band or solo? or? Um, they're all kind of, I kind of like both. I, yeah. I got to say, like, I, I, like, so this past, I guess today, or last night was the last show I I, I played with Cat. We played Shubas, and uh, that was a really great tour. And and it's just a little different experience, you know. I I get to when I'm playing solo, I just it's a little more intimate, and I get to chat a bit and mm-hmm. tell stories. And and when it's with the band, it's it's there's still a bit of that, but there's just like this kind of energy that we get to yeah. kind of let loose a bit more. And I dance and sing <laughs> and and. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. Both both are just as good. To yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's very cool. Yeah. Do you like the onstage uh, banter when you're? Are, do you talk to the audience? Uh, yeah, when I do my solo set, I yeah, I kind of, I just kind of joke around and and I kind of. I kind of talk a lot, a lot. I, should I, I talk. I probably talk more than I should. No, I I love when artists talk because yeah. I, I I don't like it when I like they're just like 
and uh, good night. And that's yeah. all they said. And I'm like, but I know they're not there to talk to me, yeah, yeah. but I like it. Yeah, I kind of, I mean, yeah, I just, I just chat and yeah, talk about last, well, we were just on tour and I got to say, I, I was, I was saying this all last night at the show. I was like, I love the Midwest. Like Midwest, I love it. Really? Reminds me of home. And I don't know. We we were in like I was just talking about like I just talk about random stuff. I was like we were in Grand Grand Forks, North Dakota or something like that. And I was just like, yo, anyone been there? And everyone's like, yo, no, don't talk about that place. I was like, yo, that place is dope. <laughs> anyway, I just ramble on like that. Oh yeah, I mean I <laughs> I understand. I do that too. Um, I like that you like the Midwest because yeah. I feel like right now this is not the best. Uh, this is it's not the great selling point for Midwest mm-hmm. being here in December it's through like chilly. April. But I, I was prepared. I so I was we were on tour and we stopped in LA and uh we were at a, like a vintage shop and I picked up this one piece snowsuit and I got it for like seventeen bucks and I was prepared for the mm-hmm. Midwest winter here. Nice. So I've I have i have been if you see a guy with like a big blue snowsuit, that was me. <laughs> yeah. It also come in handy in Canada, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 That's why that's why I got it. Yeah. For seventeen it was, bucks. It was it's a good a steal. deal. Yeah. And after I live out in the country and and I'm always just like, I could just wear this thing. I'll be warm all the time. So yeah. I'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to hear next two songs. Yeah. Um, this next one's a, this next one's a song about being in love with Amelia Earhart. Let's see if this guitar will. This guitar's not used to the Midwest winter yet. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is a song I wrote. It's a little love song. Well, I was meant to walk the slow. You were meant to fly. Tell by the way you look up there, see it in your eyes. Oh, Amelia flew too close to the sun. Oh, if I knew you, would have told. Stuck in the sky Cause on the day You left this heart You never said goodbye Cause once your feet Got off the ground Nothing could keep you down Oh. 
could have been one in trouble sometimes you come home late at night and this is what she tells you Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Of course, you rule. Pleasure. Um, uh, he will be on tour uh, in February, so check out his uh, socials for dates for that. And his album Hard Time is out now on Cinematic Music Group. Um, and thank you to Audio Tree. <laughs> thank you to the camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful and the sound engineers for making it sound really good. And thank you for watching. We'll see you later. See ya. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?